reports suggest that the ANC is grappling with its election list and whether to include those implicated in corruption for higher office. The party's Integrity Commission, chaired by Reverend Frank Chikane, has reportedly recommended that individuals implicated in state capture should be removed from electoral lists to discuss uh, this further and the implications and what really does the, are the options open to the ANC? I'm joined now by General Feril Hafiji from the Daily Maverick. Feril, good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, for your time. Thanks for joining us on today. When I was reading your article in the Daily Maverick earlier today and I saw that headline, showdown looms over the ANC's poll list after the Chief Justice Raymond Zondre the weekend entered the fray regarding that uh, City Press article, I was thinking, what options does the ANC actually have in terms of coming up with a candidate list that will be free of any controversy? <laughs> um, Dan, the ANC has promised us for many years now that it's, it's in a phase of something called renewal post the era of state capture. And so you would expect that l those lists would be scrupulous in their intent and in their execution. But now it turns out that that's subject to very deep discussions within the party on whether people named in the Commission of Inquiry on State Capture and in other major scandals should be on those lists of not. Some taking a very technical reading of the step-aside law that unless you haven't been charged in a court of law, you should still be able to be on those lists, and others saying absolutely not. We, of course, saw the veteran uh, Mavuso Msimang resign because of this very debate and then go back to the party because he had a secure understanding that that was not to happen. But I don't think that the governing party is quite there yet. Yeah, and you've got internally the Veterans League that still insists that nobody who's implicated in, in any shape or form...